nothing happens according to our liking all the time. It happens according to the design of the Almighty. When Almighty Allah has chosen something for you, many times the path to success starts off with lots of negatives. Because when man is put into a comfort zone, he doesn't grow. I come from Zimbabwe. I see people here who are originally also from Zimbabwe, people I know. And I tell you, my brothers and sisters, life there is tough. But one thing it does, it makes you streetwise. It makes you able. It makes you able to make do with whatever you have. And we say to make a plan. Just make a plan. If the electricity goes, for example, people continue speaking like nothing's happened, right? Because they're used to it. Why are you used to it? Because it kept on happening. Whereas if you were to go to a place where that doesn't happen, they'd probably be frightened of the dark. Do you see? Similarly, when there's no water in the tap, no one's upset. They make a plan. When the traffic lights are not working, they make a plan. When there are no jobs, they make a plan. This is just an example. But the reality is that hardship actually strengthens you in a way you did not imagine. Don't look at it as negative in totality. It's only as negative as you'd like it to be. That's what it is. Our sisters, for example, you will have people tell you what to do. On both sides, this extreme and the other. You know what the Almighty wants of you. You know your level. What you need to remember is my connection with my maker is my own relationship with him. It's got nothing to do with anyone else. I'd better make the most of my days on earth and improve myself as the days pass on my own. I'd consider good reminders as being decent, as being helpful. But when someone hurls a statement of abuse at you, don't take it to heart. They don't know any better. They don't know your struggles. They don't know what you've been through. They don't know, they haven't walked in your shoes. They don't understand the disasters in your life or the challenges or whatever you might have had to go through in order to become who you are today. They don't know all of that, but that's man. But Allah knows. Man doesn't know how you ended up where you are today. They will judge you. Man is harsh.